So it's Wednesday morning. It's not too early. It's like 7.30, nice time. Um, currently regretting my life choices. I've agreed to go and um, swim <laughs> with, say with, I'm going to be in the same body of water uh, Steph Clutterbeck, who's a really good swimmer. Um, but yeah, I was like, I need to do some open water. I've done none this year. I've not even been in a wetsuit yet. So yeah, seemed better to do it with someone. Um, but yeah, fully expecting to get dropped absolutely immediately. <laughs> um, but yeah, I was like, I would take comfort in knowing that she's in there somewhere. But yeah, should be good. It's a lovely morning, as you can see. So hopefully the sea is nice and calm. It should be fun. Here she is. She's ready. She's ready to get in there and drop me. <laughs> what, no. what are we up to today, Steph? We've got an open water swim and it's flat. It's beautiful. And it's so nice. Yeah. Um, and we've got, I think, the whole of the Ironman 7.3 age group team. Yeah. Right. <laughs> We're swimming with everyone. So I might have some company. Yes. <laughs> So I came back, had some breakfast. It's pretty cold in the water. I think it's like 16 degrees, which is quite cold for me. Um, and yeah, now just gearing up to get ready to go and do a nice little bike session. Um, so yeah, I've got all of the nutrition is there ready. I think today's quite a hard, hard bike session. Uh, so I'm gonna go for some C90. Um, 
C90 and I'll have a gel as well for if I need it. Um, Cause yeah, I've got basically half an hour worth of efforts in like a three hour ride. So, but like quite high end efforts. So it's going to be quite hard work. But yeah, should have a good group to meet up with. Uh, we've managed to persuade some of the other pros to come. And I've got Jack obviously. So um, yeah, should be fun. It's like a little bit cloudy. Um, yeah, I, in my rush of packing, <laughs> haven't actually bought anything other than summer kit. So hopefully not too cold at the top of the climb. Special easy. There we go. And are you, are you doing the whole course? Yeah. And you? Yeah, similar. Like, I'm going easy into the roundabout. Then I've got some like warm up intervals. Then I've got six by four minutes up the climb. Um, yeah. Like maybe if we like just regroup. So you got 90k race base. Seven yeah. games. Here she comes. Tried to give myself a head start up the climb. It's not lasted very long. You can see her just back there. I'm being hunted and at this fitness, it's not a very nice feeling. <laughs> Caught, passed, dropped like a stone. It's not that much fun when you're unfit. Cool place to ride there. Got the whole squad. Dropped, dropped Christian on the climb, so you know, thought I'd go easy on him. <laughs> Give him some confidence for the race. <laughs> How was it, Christian? Being dropped twice. <laughs> terrifying. It's because he's not got a big enough chain ring. <laughs> what size is the chain ring? Uh, 62. Oh, 56. <laughs> What's that? Wait, you got 56? Yeah. What size is your chain ring? 58. Woo woo! Do you have 58 on? Yeah, but I got classified.
There you go, your first cameo in Ruth's YouTube channel. <laughs> Woo! Excited. Have you got anything to say to Ruth's fans? To Ruth's fans? Oh. oh my god, now you got me a little bit. What kind of fan group does she have? What kind of fans? Yeah. I don't know, general triathlon ones. General triathlon ones, <laughs> yes. Okay, let's say I'm Team Ruth as well. Yeah. There she is. Yeah. Doing her effort. We're actually sat on her wheel. She's just quite small, so it looks like she's far away. <laughs> He's always holding everyone up. Yeah. <laughs> He'll only drink Coke because it matches his kit. That's how it is when you get last in the top. What is? No, no. What's your preferred one? <laughs> 60 nutrition. It was a ride. It's been lovely. How was the fan club? Um, yeah, great. I've had. Well, no one's really ridden with me, but. <laughs> who's your <laughs> Who's your favourite Danish triathlete? <laughs> um. <laughs> Obviously, Kevin. <laughs> Kevin, wow, okay. Also known as Casper. Does he still count as a triathlete? I don't know. Oh, he's he's Elsinore, a so. bit harsh. So he's not even a triathlete. <laughs> Yeah, you don't really think about climbs other than the main one. What are you up to? Just trying to hang on to these two. I know those two. I know they do. Uh, well, intervals are done. So now we're just chilling. Ish. How's your swim this morning? Uh, cold. Really cold. And lonely. And choppy. Um, <laughs> yeah, but... I can now say I've put a wetsuit on at least once this year, so yeah, it was nice, it's good to do it, but not my favourite.
probably should put matching tyres on for me this time. Just to make the bike look nice. <laughs> Oh, country ride, it's quite windy and I'm on a road bike and I've literally spent what well, I've been riding for three hours just towing Christian around. Looking back there, taking a free ride like always. He knows I'm heckling him. Free loader. Here we are. Luckily everyone is sat up playing nice with me on the road bike. Front. We're actually on the back, don't listen to him. Oh, nice day for it, very windy, but a good group of people. And Ruth is hiding back there somewhere. Yeah, I can't even see her. <laughs> How was your ride? Really quite hard, to be honest. Um, I mean, I had quite hard intervals, but they were good. And then, yeah, just the Danes are very strong, pushing it out of the corners. Thankfully, I managed to just sit at the back, so actually it was quite chilled, but um, yeah. Like, generally good, it's just felt and I think because of the timing, so like we started at like 11, so it's now like 2. I then also got quite hungry, even though like I had like carbs in my drink, I had a gel. Um, yeah, it's not quite the same. Yeah, like generally good, nice to catch up with some people. Um, and yeah, now lunchtime. What's on for the rest of the day? Um, I'm going to go back. I'm gonna probably go and lie on my roof. <laughs> Excuse the pun. Yeah. So we're put in there somewhere. Somewhere. Um, roof, on, roof, on, roof on the roof. I've got a call at four. I might do a bit of swimming because I didn't do that much in the sea this morning. So I might just get a bit more aerobic swimming. Let me see. The sun needs to be out, otherwise I'll just get cold again. <laughs> uh, and that's it. And then yeah, hopefully catch up with some more people tonight for dinner. Chill day. Right, we picked up another stray. <laughs> He's working hard. <laughs> We're hard. now on holiday, Brits abroad. <laughs> right, here we are. We're doing a quick bit of footage for. Well, it's not Ruth, it's Christian. So, Ruth has subcontracted me to Christian for the afternoon because she's not running and he's doing a run session. So, we're just going to do a lot of loops of this little pond and create some stuff. So, enjoy. <laughs> Thank you.
Right, session done. Do you have anything to say to Ruth Assel's fans? Uh, Cheers, mate. Yeah. Right. Don't follow me on Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> what's, your Insta what's your Instagram handle? Uh, I also have uh, short legs compared to my uh, upper body. <laughs> so. so you can sympathize? Yeah, for right. sure. And uh, what's your Instagram handle? MR underscore H O T N. Mr. Hogan. Mr. Hogan. Oh, don't get run over.